Um, I'm sorry I look like trash. This is just becoming a reoccurring thing, I guess, on this channel. I always look like crap. What's up, guys? Bell's back here. So today I am coming at you with a pros and cons of attending the University of Michigan video. Yeah, I just got back from my internship and I'm tired and I'm wearing my business shirt. And I'm wearing PJ pants. And I don't apologize, so let's get on with the video. So, take everything with a grain of salt. Sorry for the Asian glow, I really apologize. So one of the pros that I think defines Michigan is the fact that it's a public school. Um, I think of Michigan as really similar to a school like Berkeley. Um, as a lot of you know, because I've made videos on this, my second choice was University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill. And a big reason why I didn't want to go there is because it's 85% in state students. So I wouldn't exactly be meeting a diverse array of people. And at Michigan, I've met people from Thailand, Singapore, um, um, Italy, England, so many different countries, uh, people that represent the states, like every single state, I'm pretty pretty sure except for like Wyoming maybe, I, I don't really know. Um, but I like that it's really diverse, there's so many different people to meet and that's kind of what college is about, like expanding your horizons, meeting people that you wouldn't meet anywhere else. So one con that this is kind of kind of be like two different cons is I guess the weather so if you're like me and you're from California the adjustment it's like a bit of a, an adjustment um I guess if you're from a warmer area like Florida or California and you move to somewhere like Michigan I guess a con would be that it's kind of expensive in terms of there's a lot of things that I didn't realize would add up to be a lot more money and just like buying a big winter jacket um I have like these fleece lined leggings that are pretty expensive, like all the different hats, scarves. I mean, you only need a few different things, but those are just expenses that I didn't think of. Um, so it's just a con for people who are from like warmer areas. The other thing is if you really want to have a nice spring time at school or a really long fall with no snow, I guess this is not the place for you considering that Michigan's weather is so freaking weird. Like it'll be 32 degrees and then it'll be 70 degrees the next day. Add me on snap if you want to see shameless plug right there. Um, you can see I will post like the weather, give you little daily weather updates from yours truly. Um, but yeah, the weather is freaking crazy in Michigan. I've never experienced anything like it. Um, it doesn't really stop people from doing what you would do at any other school. Like people still go out when it's snowing, people still tailgate when it's snowing. So it doesn't really stop anything from that. It's just like, you're gonna be in a winter coat for like six of the eight or nine months that you're at the school, so. Second pro, which I think is hands down super true, anybody would agree with this, is the amount of school spirit on Michigan's campus. Um, even off campus, actually, like when I go traveling, I'll see people and everybody just says go blue, like if they see anything that I'm wearing that says Michigan or has an M on it. Um, it's just, it's everywhere, everybody is not afraid to represent the school and I really like the fact that we have big D1 sports. Um, it just characterizes the school in a way that a lot of other schools who don't have Division One sports I uh, can't relate to and the fact that Michigan is our fight song is just so classic It's what so many other people across the country know just having the big house Which is the biggest stadium in the country. I think it's like second biggest to like North Korea or something in the world Don't quote me on that, but it's pretty cool And I really like that we just have this amazing school spirit and like game days are seriously my favorite day of the week Okay, so my second con it's not that bad. I just it's just, it's a thing, and it, it doesn't really affect me, it just bothers me for my other friends. It's just that Michigan's Greek life is, like, pretty present on campus. Um, it's not like USC or, like, Southern California schools. Like, the South, I'd say, it's not as intense as that, but Greek life is still very present on campus. So, I know for guys, it's really hard for them to go out if they don't have the option to, if they're not in a fraternity. I guess that this leads me to a pro about living in Ann Arbor in Michigan, the fact that 
bar life is very present. If you don't really want to go out in the other ways, you can go out this way and go socialize with your friends. It's kind of unlimited to anyone who wants to join, so it's not like exclusive in any way. So I think that's a good thing about Michigan because I know schools like, sorry to hit on USC so much, but I know schools like USC and schools that just don't have big like college towns, it makes it kind of difficult to do that. So I really like that we have that option for especially when you get to like, your junior and senior year when people really start to go out to bars. Okay, please don't give me hate for this. This is just my personal opinions and it's what I think. I really like the fact that Michigan is a very liberal campus. Don't get me wrong here. If you are a conservative person or you just don't really have political opinions, I guess, you can still like Michigan. Like nobody is going to impress upon their ideals onto you. It's just that if you are liberal minded and you like that type of thing, Michigan really supports that. The LGBTQ community, I think if you, if I were a part of that community and I were looking for a school that was really supportive in that, we're a great program for that. There's so much diversity, which I really appreciate. Even people who are more conservative, I think are still open-minded in the way that they respect everybody's opinions and they're considerate not that and i don't mean to target anybody not that one type of person isn't usually but i just think that in general no matter what you believe in politically or what your ideals are people are just very open-minded and willing to hear other people out okay so going back to the con of it being a cold weather school one thing disclaimer um it was very cold year for us, but I still had a hell of fun time. So if you are really scared for the weather, don't let weather stop you from going to a great university. Please do not, just do not let weather stop you from going to a good university. It is the best place, my happy place in the world. So do not let that happen. But there are some cons to going to a school that is cold. One, going back to going out, or if you're going to the library late at night, or if you're going anywhere late at night, and it's really difficult to walk. I mean, honestly, you shouldn't be walking at night by yourself anyways, but because it's so freaking cold, and if it's like below zero, you're gonna probably wanna Uber or take the bus. So if you don't take the bus, or there's not a bus station nearby, or you don't have the bus schedule, and you have to take an Uber, it just starts to rack up and get pretty expensive. My Uber bill the last few months was kind of expensive, so my mom was not happy about that, but um, you can definitely avoid using Ubers if you just figure out the bus system, which I have yet to do. Ooh, yes, I am excited to talk about this next topic. Um, a big pro about going to Michigan is the food options. Oh my God. One of my friends that goes to Notre Dame, she always complains about how they have like two dining halls and a street with like a Blaze or a Chipotle and that's really it. So I can definitely say that Michigan, for one thing, we have like 10 different dining halls. They're not like gourmet, but they're better than I think a lot of other places because there's at least like a diverse array range of food kind of um but if you don't want to go to that there's so many different cafes on campus or like bakery kind of the coffee shop things um but then if you go down state street or east U, like there is just blocks of so many different sushi restaurants noodle bars uh italian restaurants not that many mexican restaurants but there's like uh pancheros and chipotle so you get your fast food mexican food that's actually pretty healthy um, and there's just like so many good coffee shops. I could make another video or like a list down below my favorite places to eat in Ann Arbor. I'm still wanting to explore and go more downtown, but I'm saying like on the streets that kind of intersect with campus, there's probably like 50 plus restaurants, I'm thinking. And also, if you're from California and you're Asian and you really like bubble tea, boba, whatever you want to call them, um, we have a boba place. I think it's called Bubble Time. Bubble, I don't know. Um, it's nothing as good as California boba, but it'll do. Moving on to the next con, this does not apply to me, but this is just something to consider when you're a freshman or almost a freshman. So for you people who are going to be incoming freshmen, I don't know if you've heard from your housing contracts. I think you should have by then, by this time. But if you're placed on North Campus, that just sucks. Like, the whole concept of having a freaking North Campus for freshmen is just stupid. Like, that's a con of going to Michigan. Um, even if you don't go to Michigan, I mean, even if you aren't on North Campus, it still kind of sucks that there is a North Campus because you might make some really freaking good friends and it's really difficult to go and hang out with them unless you take like a 20, 30 minute bus ride. It's not a 20, 30 minute bus ride one way, but like it's like 20 or 30 minutes in total once you count 
like the wait time and taking the actual bus and all the stops so like that just makes it annoying and I it separates the campus in a way that it doesn't need to but if you are on the North Campus, there's still like 2,000 students up there, so you will make friends. And I'm pretty sure you have a Kroger, so that's that's like pretty good that you have a freaking market. Oh, that's another con about Michigan. Okay, I don't mean to be like saying all these cons, but there's like really no grocery store on campus. There's just like little mini markets in the dorms, which do not suffice. Like, I would like a Trader Joe's or the Whole Foods to be at least like walking distance. You have to Uber or like take a car to get to those, which is annoying maybe a bus I think you can take the city bus this pro I didn't really think of I guess until I got into all my business classes and um, group projects but you really see how you even if you're in a really sucky group for a group project everybody that gets into Michigan has to be at least somewhat smart okay. in high school it was kind of annoying when you'd be put in groups and like you might be pulling all the weight because other people might not be doing their work or doing their part whatever but it's really nice in all your classes because people in Michigan I feel like every single person even if they do go out a lot party if they sleep a lot don't go to class like people still care about their grades so I really like the fact that everybody knows how to work hard play hard um, work hard sleep a lot work hard do whatever but they still work hard and also if you're looking for a husband or a wife great material there yeah, they're all pretty freaking smart you can still date people who don't go to Michigan I'm just saying there's an added bonus there another con um, it's not that bad honestly like I'd say there's pros and cons to this concept. It's registering for classes. So it's a con in that there's so many students. So if you didn't come in with a lot of credits, you'll probably get a later registration date. Um, I think you will most likely get your class. Like I don't know the many people that don't get their classes that they want. It's just that they have scheduling conflicts because, or they just end up getting early classes when they don't want early classes. It's really only a problem the first couple years of college when you don't have a lot of credits because the more credits you have, like the older you get, the high, the sooner you register. But registering for classes can just be a pain in that way. I haven't had that many problems with it, but it's just it's the annoying thing about going to such a large university that there might be so many people in front of you to register. But I will say that I think a pro that can come from going to a public university, a big university in general, and registering for classes is the fact that if there is a class time that doesn't work for you, there's usually like four other class times that will work for you because they have to offer like five or six sections of a class, whereas going to a private school, like a smaller, tiny university, they might only offer one class like once or twice that semester. So I like that there's lots of options. So. I think that's it. I hope you all enjoyed my pros and cons of attending the University of Michigan video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Apply to Michigan. If you already applied, if you're waitlisted, I hope you get in. And if you're going to apply, I hope you get in. And if you're coming here, yes, go blue. And if you're not coming here, still go blue. Okay, see you guys sooner or later. Peace out. Boop.